Alrighty, we have an amazing new coaster announcement coming out of Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and boy is this something that a lot of people weren't expecting. One, Six Flags working with B&M again, a complete shocker. Two, B&M stepping out of their comfort zone and giving us two unique elements that I don't think we've seen on any coaster that's a B&M. One being the 95 degree drop and the other one being the extreme airtime hill. Um, so definitely super excited about that. And three, Six Flags working with B&M again. I think I just said that actually. I did just say that. So <laughs> nonetheless, two absolutely amazing reasons as to why this is such a big deal. Um, so I've seen a lot of the comments online, and to be honest, I'm truly disappointed in the reaction for this coaster. This looks amazing. I'm so excited that Six Flags Fiesta Texas is getting a B&M dive. They're absolutely amazing coasters. I'm biased. I have one at Wonderland that I absolutely adore, and everyone knows that. I feel like I'm somewhat the king of, or queen, of dive coasters in the roller coaster community, and I thought what better way to um, review a coaster than to review a dive coaster. Is it the best dive coaster out there? Well, I think that this does stand a really good chance against Yukon Striker. I do think Yukon Striker is better than um, Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger, but I do think it's actually really damn close to being just as good. And I know that's controversial and a lot of people are going to groan, but this thing is 95 degree drop. It's got extreme airtime and it's got a really awesome inversion. Um, definitely don't like mid-course brake runs on dive coasters being so early. That's probably its only downfall, but it's paint job. The color scheme on this ride is stunning. Way better than Yukon Striker's color scheme. I love the supports. I wish we got something like that for Yukon Striker. The fact that it like looks so rustic and rusted. Absolutely love it. I'm so jealous of it. If you can't tell, I'm fangirling. It has an indoor queue section that's most likely going to house um, some scenery props maybe even a pre-show or storyline so that's absolutely amazing too i'm so excited about this ride <laughs> i'm actually so loving the fact that bnm stepping outside of its comfort zone um but yeah this is so awesome the color scheme is amazing it's got a new train design as well seven person cedar trains it's not a six seater dive it's not an eight seater dive it's not a ten seater dive it's seven it's gonna have four trains as well three operational one for um, seasonal, like when they take a train off and they got to put another one on while they work on that train because it's a year-round park. So this park has gone all out on this edition. Woo, take a breath. I'm too excited. The color scheme, the elements, everything about this coaster honestly makes it amazing. And I'm really upset with the community's reaction. A lot of people don't like dive coasters. And I understand an opinion and I totally get why some people may not love dive coasters but if that's the case you should at least totally be excited and understand that this is going to be a huge crowd pleaser and probably the most popular ride in the park and it's going to bring in some really serious revenue growth for this park and that's going to translate into more rides in the future so you should be at least excited about that um, just wanted to put that in there because I know sometimes we can get a little jealous when another park gets something in our park didn't get it. Trust me, I've been there. I'm not hating on anyone that has that opinion, but we do need to learn to celebrate when other parks get something. And when Six Flags is working with B&M again, and when Six Flags is pushing B&M to do a, a coaster like this with new elements, we should all be celebrating that because this is the moments that enthusiasts look for. Y'all complain when you get your B&M that just does your typical B&M moves and Six Flags came out with this coaster and it is different, it is unique, it does things that you weren't expecting and you are still upset. Man, I, I don't know what it is. Nonetheless, what else has really impressed me with this coaster is the park's teasing campaign. I love that the balloon traveled around the world and then eventually it led to like the Swiss Alps, which led us to know that it was a B&M. Super excited about that. That was awesome. And then the announcement video, when they kept teasing, they posted like the layout and then the like red X would come on the screen and then it changed it up and it was like, no, 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 we're going bigger. And then it again, trust me, my heart was racing. I was like, no, no, they're not about to take Yukon's records. 
They didn't, but again, like I said, very controversial opinion. I think this does stand up to UConn Striker. I don't think it's better, my personal opinion. I know there are people out there that are definitely going to think it's better, and that's totally okay. I totally understand that. Um, I do think it stands very nicely with UConn. It's not worse than UConn. It's not better than UConn, but it stands there with UConn as a dive coaster for being so unique and having those two amazing elements, the extreme airtime and that 95-degree drop. So definitely amazing. Um, I love everything about it. I love dive coasters, and I love the fact that they bring in so many guests and they boost the park's attendance and revenue. Best part about it. Best part about them. If your park is getting a dive coaster, you know your park's going to do well. <sighs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else about the ride that I'm missing talking about. It's, stand it's a great ride. Great color package, great theming. Love the station. It's going to have a glass roof, I'm hearing. I just love the storyline, too. Like, the whole elixir, and then she's... Oh, it's so good. Everything about this ride, everything this park did, absolutely amazing. Knocked it out. No one was expecting this. No one, okay? No one was expecting this. Um, except for maybe Amusement Central. I remember when he was saying that they were going to get a B&M dive, and everyone was no groaning, making fun of him. So definitely go follow Amusement Central on Instagram because he was Team Dive all the way. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video. If you have any further questions or comments about this ride, comment them down below and I will try and answer them. If you have a, an opinion about this ride, comment down below too. I'm not going to fight you. Don't worry. Everyone has opinions. Let's talk. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully you have an amazing weekend. Have a good one, guys. Bye.